All right, ladies and gentlemen, sit down, shut up, and hang on, because today I'm going to show you how to use Google Earth Flight Simulator. First off, you need to make sure that you've downloaded it, Google Earth Pro for desktop. If you uh, try to use the online version, it doesn't have the flight simulator. All right, um, we want to search in the top left to find our destination. We want to go to Cedar Mountain Airstrip. This is a cool spot. It's an old dirt runway on Cedar Mountain in central Utah on the San Rafael Swell. And it takes off right off the edge of the mountain, so it's kind of neat. Okay, I'm clicking left, holding in the left click to pan. If you click and hold in your scroll wheel, you can orbit. You want to pan and orbit until you're lined up with the runway. Now, uh, beware, if you get too close to the runway, it'll enter ground level. And once you're in ground level, it doesn't let you use Flight Simulator. So, right there, I'm in ground. Oh. Okay, I'm in ground level right there. I want to say exit ground level on the right. All right, so here we are. Go to Tools, Enter Flight Simulator. Don't do the F-16. It's hard to fly. Wait till you've had a lot of practice on the SR-22. So pick that SR-22. Say so Start Flight. I'm going to hit space bar to um, kind of pause my airplane so it doesn't take off while I'm showing you the instrument panel and throttling up and stuff. On the right is your elevation from sea level. Top is your uh, compass. Left is your speed. Down here are uh, these controls have to do with your steering and throttle. So page up and page down is throttle up and throttle down. If it's a short runway you want to throttle up and then release your brakes and, and take off. It'll help you lift off the ground quicker. So I'm throttled up. To steer in the air, well first to steer on the ground you need to use a period and comma left of shift. The period is your right brake, the comma is your left brake. When you're in the air you use the arrow keys. So um, the right arrow key is your aileron, helps you roll to the right. Your left arrow key uses your ailerons to roll you to the left. So right now I'd be rolling to the left if I was in the air. You hold in shift and use the arrow keys. It affects your, uh, it uses your rudder. So it, you'll steer using your, the yaw. Uh, so that right there I'm yawed all the way to the right, yawed all the way to the left. So you can steer using both of those. Um, also on the tail of your airplane is an elevator, which helps you gain or decrease elevation. The up and down arrows control that. So there's elevator up, elevator down. Let's say that your airplane is like doing this all sorts of crazy stuff. It's yawing and rolling at the same time, and you're going out of control. You can hit C, and it'll center those, and it'll trim it. All right. Um, when you're up in the air, you can hold in control and the, use the arrow keys, and you can look around, up, down, and all around. Just know that when you look away from your instrument panel, it disappears. Okay. Okay, to take off, you need to be throttled up. You need to have your left hand over the period and comma to steer, and you need to have your flaps down. So I'm going to hit F a couple times till my flaps are all the way down. That'll generate more lift. So I'm going to hit space bar. Steering with my period and comma, my flaps are down. I'm going to go in the center of the runway here. You can see my speed increasing on the left up to 50, 55, 60. If you feel like uh, you're going to crash, you're not getting enough lift, you can tap the down arrow lightly uh, once or twice and it'll help you lift off sooner. But you should be okay. Okay, there we go. Just tap your arrow keys to steer. If you hold them in, uh, you'll probably overcorrect, and it's just hard to steer, so just tap. You also can use um, you can use a mouse. I found that for me personally, the arrow keys are, are easier. All right. So I'm going to center my rudder because it's kind of out of whack there. I'm centering everything. Okay, out here to my right, you'll notice uh, there's some canyons appearing. It's called the Wedge or the Little Grand Canyon of Utah. 
You can go fly through some canyons. You can go fly on the mountains behind us. You can fly wherever. But what I want you to do is try to land back on the airstrip that you took off on. And it's, it's difficult to do. If you could do it, I will give you an A on this assignment and some candy. If you're just watching this on YouTube, you pat yourself on the back. All right. Um, I'm just going to land down here right of the wedge just, just for time's sake. Uh, one thing that you're going to want to do is give yourself plenty of distance between you and the runway to get nice and level. You don't want to come in at a steep angle. You want to be nice and level with the ground. You want to be coming in slow. Right now I'm at 130, which is too fast. So um, you can increase your speed by putting up your flaps. So say I like, wanted to fly around pretty quick, holding Shift and F, because they actually create drag when you're going a certain speed. So my flaps are, I lifted them up, and now I'm kind of cruising. But to land, I want those flaps down, so I'm going to put them back down with F. Okay. So my flaps are down. I'm going to throttle down. There's my throttle. Coming in nice and easy. Just lightly tap the arrow keys. Um, sometimes it's easier to steer with your rudder at this point. Sometimes the roll can get a little crazy make it harder to land. So if you hold in shift, you can kind of steer with your rudder. Like I said, um, take some practice and some patience. And there's little hills here, so hopefully I don't nail a hill. There's a hill right there. I'll try to get just above it. Okay, I landed. I'm going to hit C to center my flaps, or my rudder, and then I'm hold the period and comma, and that'll break me to a halt. Um, if you don't hit center, sometimes your rudder can be off and it can pull you to the right or the left, and you're braking and you're like, hey, I'll come on breaking to the right or breaking to the left. It's because your rudder is pulling you in, this, in a direction. So I like to hit C and then hit my period and comma to break to a stop. So um, go have fun with it. See if you can land on the airstrip. And uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, you'll see why, you know, to become a pilot, you need a lot of practice. Because it's definitely, it's not easy. All right, thanks.